Hey guys, welcome back. And for this video, I am going to show you how to fix Discord no route RTC connecting problem. So first, what you'd need to do is verify if the Discord servers are up and working. So what you want to do is close up Discord, open your browser, and search for discordstatus.com. So as you can see, everything is operational in Discord, so there are no problems as of the moment. So once you're done with that, uh, basically the Discord server is not the problem. So what you want to do is go back to Discord and verify your Discord settings. So once you're here again, go to Discord and voice and video. Make sure that the voice and video settings are correct and uh, set to its correct device right here. And others, uh, you reset their voice settings so that after when they open it, Discord again, and everything works. So this might work for you also. So check and reset your voice settings first. Once you're done with that, what you need to do is end Discord processes, which you just exiting on Discord just like so, and also exiting it here on the tra tray tray here. Exit that off. Once you're done with that, you could open Discord again. Or you could check on Task Manager first if there are any other Discord processes. So as you can see, there are no Discord processes on my Task Manager. So basically, my Discord is currently closed off. So now you want to open Discord again. And check if everything's okay. And if it's not, you could also check your internet connection. So you could do that by going to a speed test. So here you could run speed test. So as you can see, so if your internet is good or something, maybe a VPN problem. So check if you have any VPN turned on and make sure that it is turned off. And once you're done with your speed test, then still not working, you could try flushing your DNS. So if you want to flush your DNS, you just open terminal, right click on the Windows icon here, open terminal admin, just like so. And just type in ipconfig slash flush DNS, just like so. And once you're done with that, you could restart your computer, open up Discord and try if it works. If it still doesn't work, you can contact the Discord support team and wait for them to respond. And that's it, guys. If you have found this video helpful, simply leave a like below or subscribe because it helps reach more people. See you on the next one.